Monday the 3rd of September 1666. On my boat I was very worried and the sad room that my mum and dad had painted for me but I knew for certain that there was no way back to my lovely home. I began to cry in the distance I could see my house burning into the flickering fiery flames. I snuggled in my blanket that I had packed and gave my mum and dad a big hug. I was also wondering how long the fire would go on for. At that moment I saw, well, I thought I saw, no, it couldn't be, King Charles II? Yes, I saw King Charles II riding on his horse carrying a water squirter. The roaring, flickery flames began to spread fast. Before I could turn my back to look where we were going, I saw the fire's reflection in the water. I snatched the rowers out of my dad's hands and started to row even faster than my mum's eyes were turning round in horror. It was, I was guessing and thinking about the fire all through the day until night. Then I started to... Tuesday, the 4th of September, 1666. As I woke up from my sleep, I heard the sounds of houses crashing to the ground. In my boat, I realised that there was a hole in the boat. I shook my mum and dad up. When, they, when my mum and dad had seen the hole, my dad jumped out of the boat. Me and my mum followed after. We swam to shore as I cautiously climbed out of the water. I saw St Paul's Cathedral grow up in the sizzling flames. I started to make my way to Tower Street. It was the same. Buildings were crashing to the ground. I carefully dodged the people rushing to the river. Suddenly, I saw a man called Samuel Pepys carrying a, burying huge gallons of cheese and wine. A couple of miles away from my house, there was a. a there used to stand. That used to stand wore a pack of giant shovels that gave me a spectacular idea. I quickly rushed to the pack of shovels and started to dig. It was only. I was only little, so I took till nightfall. I started to doze off to sleep.